To create these dynamic KPIs, we'll apply conditional formatting to automatically adjust the arrow direction, box color, and percent change text color, allowing users to quickly spot positive or negative changes. So I'll start off by creating a calculative field for the year-to-date changes in our metric, which is price. This first line I'm typing will give us the price today. So it's saying if the date equals today, and the pivot field names equals price, then take the sum of the pivot field values. And if you didn't pivot your values and you just have a field for price, then you can type instead, if the date equals today, then price. So this will give us the final value, and I want to subtract the original value, which is the price on the first day of the year. So the second line will say, if the date equals the first day of this year, and the pivot field names equals price, then take the sum of the pivot field values. Then I'll wrap this whole thing in parentheses and I'll divide it by the original price, which is the second line. So I'm gonna copy and paste that second line. This formula is doing final minus original divided by original. And that will give us the year to date change. I'll drag this formula into the marks and change it to a text. Then I'm going to format the field so that it's a percentage. For today's price, I'm going to pull in the pivot field values into the marks. But if you have a price field, you can just drag that into the marks instead. Then I'll edit the title and get rid of what's in there. I'll type a dollar sign and insert our pivot field values and I'll add the text today. For the price, I'm gonna make it bold, and for the text today, I'm gonna to make it a bit smaller. But this is summing up everything. So I need to pull the pivot field names into the filters and select price. Then I'll pull the date into the filters and choose a relative date, and I'll choose today. So now we have the price for today, and the year-to-date changes for price. Under the marks, I'm gonna change it from automatic to a shape. And within the shapes, I'm gonna choose a square and increase the size of it. And then I can use the color in the marks to change the color of the square. And while this is effective at showing the price today and the year-to-date change, to make it even more impactful, I'm gonna make the color and text within the year-to-date box responsive to whether it's a positive or negative change. To do this, I'll create a calculated field for when the price is increasing. So this is saying if the year-to-date price is greater than zero, then do the string of the year-to-date price plus a percentage and an upward arrow. And I'll drag this into the marks to replace our price year-to-date. And you can see there's a lot of decimals in here because we're taking the string of it. So I'm gonna edit our field and do the left four digits. But now it's too small because we're translating into a percentage, so I'm gonna multiply our field by 100 first. And now that we have the condition for the increase, I'm gonna duplicate that field, and I'll edit it for the decrease. In here, I just need to change the greater than to a less than, and I'll change the upward arrow to a downward arrow. Then I'll add this field into our marks and change it to a text. And you can see nothing changed when I added the decrease field in here because the change was positive. Within the label of the marks, I'm gonna edit the text and make the decrease red and the increase green. Then I'll add the text YTD for year to date and make it black. This way, if there's a positive change, it'll show green text and an upwards arrow. And if there's a negative change, it'll be red text with a downward arrow. Under alignment, I'll center this horizontally and vertically. To change the color of the box to be responsive as well, I'll create another calculated field for the box color for price. So this line is saying, if the price increase field is not null, 
then make it green. Else, red. I'll drag this field into the marks and make it a color. Then I'll go to the legend and edit the colors. And since this is going to be green, I'm going to make it a green color. I'm also not a big fan of sharp edges, so I'm going to go to shape, choose more shapes, and pick this rounded corner container that I loaded into my shapes. Then I'll decrease the size so we can see it better. On a dashboard, I'll add our KPI price worksheet. I'll resize and set this to the entire view. You can see the title is aligned on the left, whereas the box is centered. So I'll edit the title and put a few spaces at the beginning to move it to the right. So on the left, I have an example of what it looks like with a positive change. And on the right, I have an example of what it looks like with a negative change. Applying conditional formatting to KPIs provides immediate visual cues about performance, so it makes it easy to identify positive or negative changes at a glance.